After years of delays, Boeing is ready to launch its new Starliner spaceship with a crew for the first time. The aerospace giant is under intense scrutiny ahead of tonight's scheduled test flight to the International Space Station. Mark Strassman has more now from Florida, where Boeing's reputation will be on the line. Tonight, the Atlas V rocket will lift off with its most precious payload yet, people. It's a different deal. It's the real deal. 170 feet up the launch tower at Pad 41, we met Ron Fortson, head of launch operations here. He showed us where Starliner's crew will climb into space history. That's exactly where they go to strap in. So this is the last stop before they head up to space. And lift off. To be the, the ones on the pointy end riding uh, and, and, and leaving the planet, wow. Butch Wilmore and Sonny Williams, former Navy test pilots and two of NASA's most seasoned astronauts, will take Starliner on a test drive to the International Space Station. The goal, certify Starliner works the way it's supposed to, so NASA can begin annual crew flights to the space station. NASA wants redundancy and hired both Boeing and SpaceX a decade ago. Boeing is under great pressure to perform after costly and deadly setbacks in its commercial aviation business and more costly setbacks in developing Starliner to fly people. The spacecraft is more than seven years behind schedule, stung by problems with flight software, jammed valves, and parachute safety concerns, setbacks which have cost the company more than a billion dollars. There is one priority, and it's to do this safely. Mark Nappy is Starliner's program manager. I have full confidence that people are putting the vehicle together properly to get a safe vehicle up into orbit with people on board. For CBS Mornings, Mark Strassman at the Kennedy Space Center.